This is The Scoop for Monday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. There are dangerous flood conditions on several local rivers because of excessive rainfall during Hurricane Milton. Be aware of flooding in these locations, Mayaka River at Mayaka River State Park, Manatee River near Mayaka Head, Little Manatee River near Waimama at US 301, Alafaya River at Riverview near US 301 and at Lithia Pinecrest Road, and Clote River near Elfers, Cypress Creek at State Road 54, the Hillsborough River at Fowler Avenue, at Morris Bridge Road, and at the State Park and the Peace River at State Road 60. Florida has secured approval of a major disaster declaration for Hurricane Milton from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA. You can apply online at disasterassistance.gov or call 800-621-3362. The University of South Florida announced yesterday that the Tampa and Sarasota Manatee campuses will reopen today and the St. Petersburg campus will reopen tomorrow. Most public schools are closed today. The Duke Energy Florida outage map says that as of 5 o'clock this morning, more than 94,500 customers remain without power in Pinellas County, more than 6,500 in Polk County. The company expects most will be restored by late tomorrow night. The TECO outage map indicates that as of 6 this morning, 182,000 customers are without power in Hillsborough, Polk, and Pasco counties. TECO will likely restore power to Hillsborough customers by Thursday, Polk customers by tomorrow, and Pasco customers by today. The FPL outage map indicates about 66,000 customers in Manatee and Sarasota counties are still without power and that 95% of customers are likely to get power back by tomorrow. The Florida Division of Emergency Management has fuel distribution sites open today. The sites offer 10 gallons of free gasoline per car. Most are open from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening in Bradenton, St. Petersburg, Tarpon Springs, Tampa, Plant City, Sarasota, and Arcadia. Yesterday, I got in line for gas at the St. Petersburg location, which is at 800 First Avenue South. It's just east of the now roofless Tropicana Field. They started distributing gas at 7, but I got in line along First Avenue South at 620. Three hours later, in a noisy parking lot, Tyrese Alexander pumped 10 gallons of free gas into my tank. He works for Macro, and he came from Louisiana. Uh, we got here just giving uh, 10 free gallons to everybody to the public. That's Louisiana resident Tyrese Alexander pumping free gas in St. Petersburg. Soon after, around 9.30 yesterday morning, I spoke with Stacy from West St. Pete, who was in her car waiting in line for free gas at that St. Pete distribution site. I got here around 10 after 7, so I've been here for two and a half hours, 2.20, two and a half hours. And it's, it's worth you waiting for it? I hope so. Um, yeah, I... I Unfortunately, I didn't go out and get some thinking I had enough. I had enough for three days thinking, you know, but... And then last night, I looked at the generator, and it's um, empty. So I got up this morning and got over here, and hopefully, yeah, I passed Circle K on the way over, WTSP, Channel 10. It's I didn't know about it until I saw it on Facebook, and they were wrapped around. I was like, I'm coming over here. This is more controlled not as much that that was right on 34th street but uh yeah i'm getting close i started back on 19th street so hopefully not too much longer that's stacy from west st pete who was in her car waiting in line for free gas at the st pete distribution site yesterday our website wmnf.org has all the details about free gasoline and other recovery information Hillsborough County and the Florida Department of Emergency Management are establishing a multi-agency resource center, or MARC, for individuals impacted by the three hurricanes this year. The MARC will be staffed with people from various agencies to ensure residents have access to all available resources following the storm events. It's located at Town and Country Regional Public Library. That's at 7606 Paula Drive, number 120. The zip code is 33615. It will open today until 5.30 in the afternoon. It'll be open today until Friday. It will be sunny and hot today with high temperatures in the mid-80s. There are river flood warnings in several locations around the area. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the high 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and hot with high temperatures in the high 80s. I'm Sean Kinnear with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa. 